You are listening to the One of a Kind podcast, the only podcast One where we have the original to... stars from the Waterloo Road. We have Cal and Jasmine. <laughs> I yes. wasn't in Waterloo Road. <laughs> well, we have Cal who was in Waterloo Road. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> and you also, you also have me, Cameron. Woo. <laughs> but, Woo. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, just before the show, we were um, we were watching Waterloo Road because we found out uh, Cal was in an episode when he was Ickle, 13 year old. Oh. And he was really yeah. fat. <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> we came across the clip, and like I was just like, oh, look, it's Cal. And then the first thing Jasmine sees, she just goes, Cal, you're so fat. And it was like, oh, okay, <laughs> wow. It hurts. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm an evil bitch, I know. <laughs> yeah, Jasmine, we've got you back, finally. I know. We've missed you. No, you haven't. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just leave now. <laughs> Bye. No, like we've we've not had you for like three episodes or something. It's been it's been quite yeah. sad. Two. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> but um. So like, before the podcast, you were like, I need to get a drink. So um, I decided to copy you and also get a drink. I decided to um, grab some chocolate pop tarts because they take like a minute to cook and they're yeah they're quick basically. I didn't want to like you know keep you waiting and stuff. And oh. um. I didn't come back for like five minutes because I was waiting for my dinner, which I'm now trying to eat. Well, um, I had a bit of a problem because um, I was I was I had um my drink in one hand and my uh, pop tarts in the other, and um, uh, <laughs> re- uh, basically I had to open all the doors with both hands occupied with food and drink. Oh no, I hate doing that so much because you're just like, how am I meant to do this? You have to try and like open it with your foot. Or like with your elbow going sideways. So I managed to open the door to the living room, which just the day before, the carpet had been cleaned, and um, we have a very very bright white carpet. Oh no! And you know, like when it's in the dark, you kind of don't, you know, like if you're holding it up straight or not. I just I could see the shadow of both my pop tarts just fall and hit the ground, and they were chocolate. I was yeah. like, no! It's like in slow motion. I'm like, ah, come back. <laughs> no. And there's that one time when you do like an epic catch. It's like, no, yeah. That's only you, Cal. I'm sorry. I don't catch things. <laughs> no, I, I have all those epic catches. I dropped my phone and it was like, it rolled oh, down Oh, and you my land. Leg. Oh. It rolled like... down my leg and I like flicked it up on my foot and re-caught it. It was like, <gasps> did anyone see that? And it was just, no. I was like, oh, so like best moment ever and no one was there. Wait, Cameron, like when you drop Cameron, your phone you... you catch it on your foot. Yeah. Yeah. Were you there when uh at BYFA when uh someone threw a bottle or something? Oh yeah. Yeah. And I was good. talking to I was talking to Jake and I literally did not lose eye contact with him, put my hand up and caught the bottle without looking <laughs> and everyone was like, Oh my god <laughs> oh, it, was good time. it was it was a great moment. <laughs> I, was, I was just like, Oh my god, I can't believe it just happened. What? <laughs> Yeah. Oh, that that um that drink machine is an evil drink machine because um had Dr Pepper and basically there was one machine that had Dr Pepper and Coke and that was like completely empty and like everyone knew it was empty on the day and the other machine had Dr Pepper and Oasis and um I, I wasn't I'm not like a massive fan of, of Oasis I'll have it if I have to but you know. I'll have something else if it's available. And, um, went to get some Dr. Pepper. Pressed the button. No Dr. Pepper came out. It's like, Dr. Pepper is not in this machine. And I'm like, fuck, okay, I'll get my pound back. This machine does not give you your pound back. You've made a commitment if you put it in this machine. <laughs> so I was like, well, I oh, guess yeah, I'll have to have Oasis then. <laughs> Did you enjoy oh, that Oasis? That robbed so much money from me. I don't, I, I don't know how much it took from me, I think. I don't know, I was quite, I was quite, I was quite, you know, strict with my money. I, I I don't like spending money, you see. Like, I'm quite strict with my money because um, recently I bought an Xbox One. I finally I finally did it. Woo! And um, it took me. It's probably taken me about a year to actually buy one because I've been so scared of getting one. <laughs> I mainly got it. Last for one for Christmas because I'm poor. Yeah, I, I I knew I wasn't gonna get one for Christmas, so I was just like, may as well get one now and then. Buy one. <laughs> yeah. So. Not gonna like it. Take it took me a year to get it though, because I was just like so scared. And, to be fair, there were no good games out until recent, until recently, because um, there's been Destiny, Assassin's Creed, Unity, 
Tomb Raider's coming out in February. Woo! Woo! Oh, such a bit. I am the biggest Tomb Raider fan. But, um... Um... Have either of you played Destiny, or...? I want to play Destiny. Yeah, I wanted to play it as well. It's... But it was the... just, like, a massive hype on it. Oh, it was so much overhype. It is just... Because, like, to be fair, I wasn't... I, like... Because it was made by Bungie and everyone, like, loved Halo. It was like, oh, it's going to be the best thing ever, Activision and Halo working together. I mean... I like Activision ha- too. Yeah, I mean, I liked Halo 4. I mean, Halo 4 I, I actually, like, really enjoyed. I was, like, that was the first Halo game that I properly enjoyed because I wasn't really a massive Halo fan until until then. But, um, like, so I wasn't really that hyped. And to be fair, it met, like, my expectations. Like, it's a good game, but I don't see why everyone, like... Because, like, even now people still like, rave about how good of a game it is, but it's just, like, it's, it's okay, that's it. It's not, it's not, there's nothing mm-hmm. special, basically. Isn't but, yeah. it, like, something that you can just go around one-shotting people with? Um, if you're on multiplayer, use a shotgun, that is the main, that is what, that's my main advice, I use a shotgun, because if you just, because, like, usually you end up quite close to people, and if you can just shotgun them, dead. Mm-hmm. Most, of, most of the time. But, yeah. It's, 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 yeah, it's good. It's a good game. Um, also, the DLC came out for it, and I was planning to play the uh, DLC with my friends. And um, I had ten pound, ten pound on my car. I was like, okay, I'll download the DLC the day it comes out. I was like, checking when it comes online. It's like, comes out nine a.m. on the Tuesday. I'm like, oh yeah, I've got the Tuesday off college. I, I can play the DLC. Go onto it. Go to buy it. Twenty quid for one expansion pack. I was. Yeah. It's like a strike and a few missions, and that's it. I was just like, that's that's not worth. 20 quid to me like i'd pay 10 quid max and it's just like because there's only two expansion packs and together they're 40 pound and i'm just like i'm not gonna pay that that's overpriced for what it is that's pathetic because like the game is 50 quid on itself so if you want the entire if you want the entire game you know what i mean like with expansion and stuff that's 90 quid for one game that's yeah. just not worth it so i'm just is there not like cameras and stuff like black ops and nav uh, you can get um, not for your guns, but for your character. Um, mm-hmm. basically, what you do is like you have all your armor upgrades, and then um, when you hit level twenty, which doesn't take that long to be fair, um, you can. Oh, what's it? It's like it's called. It's like a color gradient, and basically, you can turn all your armor into one particular color. Uh huh. Which is pretty cool. And yeah, I'm I'm a massive. I just walk around like pink and like, looking like a badass because like, yeah. <laughs> like you you spot because when you spawn into a, a multiplayer game, you see all your characters, and there's all these like badass like you know, dark armored people like wearing black or all white and stuff, and there's just me like pink in the background like hello, <laughs> and it's like the the weirdo of the group. But I, I like my I like my character. It makes me stand out. But yeah, you're different. Yeah, you're different. And I'm currently stuck on um level twenty four, and I can't get any higher. You scrub. No, twenty four is like, is like the level you get to, and then you, if you want to get any high, you've got to like hardcore play the game. If that makes sense. Meh. Have you tried um, GTA first person? I do not have GTA five. Oh yeah, I don't like it. I I want to get it, but um, yeah, I I haven't currently. I have it on the three sixty, and I played it like twice because it's like terrible. Is first person on the 360 or is that only for Xbox One? Is that Xbox I One? That's only for Xbox One. I've seen, I've seen... It comes out on PC in January. Woo-hoo. I might get it. Like, <laughs> finally two years later. <laughs> but didn't any GTA 4 come out like a few months like before GTA 5? Like it came um, out on PC before, like and GTA 5 was like about to come out. That means it's going to be a GTA 6. <laughs> I don't there's going to so. be a massive hype over that again just for another terrible game that's like the exact same as San Andreas the only decent GTA mm. that's actually one of the ones I've played mm-hmm, you too I, I, I wanted to play GTA 5 but it's just like I, I, like, I, uh, I, I was just like I, I don't like spending money on brand new games if that makes sense because mm-hmm. I did it with Titanfall because I was so hyped for Titanfall and I got it, and I was just like, "It's just, it was bad." It was okay, but it's just like it, it got, it got, yeah, yeah, so fast. It was just like, "Okay, this is fun." Is, um, anything going to be different? And it was just like, "No, this is it. This is the game. This is what you pay for. Nothing more." The beta was really good. 
And it uh, showed like so much hope and then it just died. Mm, I was really disappointed with what happened. It was just, the guy who um, like came up with the main idea, he got like fired from Respawn and stuff because of it. Really? That's what oh. I heard. Apparently like he got fired from um, from Respawn and then he went to work on um, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Advanced Warfare is poo. I haven't played it, but, I, that's, but the that's the first card in like four years I haven't bought on release date. I have played every card except for like one, two, and three and that. Yeah. I, All I, from up there, apart from Black Ops 1, I've played and World at War. No, I, I've played World at War. Never mind. I, I've, I've played four, World at War, um, Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3, Black Ops, Black Ops 2, Modern Warfare 3, Ghosts. I haven't played Advanced Warfare though, so. Ghosts was such a letdown for me. I just because because like, oh, Black... like Black Ops Two was was I actually really enjoyed Black Ops Two, which was oh I still do love it. I was on it yesterday. I actually saw it. I was like I'm tempted to plug in the 360 and go on Black Ops Two because it is a brilliant game. It <laughs> is. I've been playing League. I'm getting my League oh, rank good. up. Oh. League's okay. It's like yeah, it's better than Dota. So <laughs> no, not League of Legends. Like, League <laughs> I thought play. I was like oh no. <laughs> <laughs> no <don't> go <laughs> Although, Dota is better than League of Legends. End I've been, of. I've been playing Wait, a bit of League of Legends though. Yeah. I know you have come. And uh, oh, I suck so bad. <laughs> I'm not I'm... surprised. Whoa, what's that supposed to mean? Because you're not very good at games like that. What do you mean? I've played Halo Wars. That's kind of like it. There's nothing <laughs> like it. <laughs> no, I'm like. It's I'm the same not... like type of game, isn't it? No. Uh, in, in a tiny-ish way, but but not but like. No, Graphics not. wise, but not play like in play. But um, I play the people I play with are like really like, they're really like really good at the game. I'm like I mean really good, and um, and then I like play with them and they're like carrying me and I'm just, like sorry guys, <laughs> and they have to like help me. But remember when you asked me if I wanted to play with you, I was like, <laughs> no. <laughs> you were like I've played once and then I was like no, this game's not for me. I've but, played it before. I play it sometimes with a friend, but like I've kind of moved on from those type of games. I played Dota like religiously for months, have over four hundred hours on it, and then I just died off it because it just got so boring, and all the updates were just poo. Okay, so I have a, a random, very random question. Okay, so um, what do you do if you've got something stuck on your hand? Cause, um, like what? Basically, there's a really random ring that sits on my desk, and I just like it sits there. And what I do is I just like kind of fiddle around with it. And I was just kind of rolling it around in my hand, and I put it on my middle finger, and now it's stuck, and I can't get it off. <laughs> and for about the last 15 minutes, I've been trying to get it off my finger, <laughs> and my finger is going oh, red. No. I can't get it off. Use yeah, Vaseline. Butter, butter. Mm. I'm thinking that Vaseline. Butter. Like if you look at my hand now, my my middle, like, you know the, like, the bit where your finger bends over? It's like bright it's, red. It's just stuck there. <laughs> I can't get it off, it's like just jammed on there. <laughs> Wait, show us. <laughs> um, oh, I'll send you a picture, I'll, I'll, I'll show you afterwards, after the podcast, but it's like, <laughs> it is stuck on there and I can't get it off now. <laughs> I'm, like, I, I'm gonna have to like, I have to do a video of me just about sawing the ring off and like trying not to cut my hand open. And, oh. <laughs> I there, I like, Doing college it... work with Cam, just sawing your finger off because the ring stuck. Because <laughs> like the thing is, uh, like I've had, I've been, I've had it on my desk for ages. I just kind of pick it up and feel it. I go, never put this on your middle finger because you know it'll get stuck because it won't fit. And now it's just on there and I can't get it off. Because like you what? always see it in TV where they have to like, like you know, it's like fifteen people all pulling on it trying to get it off and it doesn't come off. Mhm. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I, I this is officially stuck on my finger. I shouldn't. Ne- don't know why. It's just like it's been sitting on my desk, and it's just like, do you just have that object that's on the on your desk that you just kind of mess around with, just when, yeah, you know. yeah, <laughs> just because you. Yeah. I'm like fidgety, so. <laughs> fidgety. Yeah. But um, anyway, <laughs> enough about rings and fingers. Uh, Walking Dead, because we 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 want to talk about Walking Dead. Wait, 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 wait. Cal, Re- Cal, have you just been sitting here watching it, trying to find <laughs> yourself? <laughs> The whole time, yes. <laughs> Basically, because Cal's in Waterloo Road, he was trying to find another moment when he was... Um, Is that you the... in the uniform? Yep. 
Okay, so if you go to if you if you YouTube um, Waterloo Road Series Seven Episode Twenty Four and you apparently go to thirty six minutes and forty nine seconds, which I'm about to do now, you can see him walking through the door after the fireball is hit. Yeah, that's like my my moment of of, of fame. <laughs> what is it? Three minutes, thirty six minutes and forty nine seconds. Yes. We'll go to forty six. Go to forty six seconds, and then you should see me okay. like walk through. It's like, okay, whoop, so there's whoop. a guy. There's a guy walking upstairs. Fire alarms hit, and suddenly, was that you walking past? Yeah. <laughs> oh, famous. We know someone famous. Because <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, good times. I, I was thinking about doing that. Um, you might actually. This is what you should put on your channel as well. Um, next year, you know when um, all the ordinary angels comes out. Yeah. You know because we're like in scenes. Yeah. We should make a montage of just all the ordinary angels, but just, like, where awesome. we are. Because, <laughs> like, because um, I was on the camera crew. You know the, uh, were you at the nightclub scene when uh, yeah. was, like, when it was, it was just quiet and everyone was bouncing off the floor and you can hear the sound of yeah, the floor? Yeah, fake ice cream cones. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm in that scene about four times, and I, had to kept, like, I kept on getting called back to the camera to do something and then running back on set because they needed another actor. And I was like, okay, I'll be in it. <laughs> Because uh, uh, uh. like I'm in that scene about four times, but no, just like like you see me walk past the guy, and then he stands still, and I'm on his side. It's like what <laughs> <laughs> makes no sense. I'm just like standing there, and then I'm like oh, okay, because um me and Lydia had to walk off like we were apparent apparently drunk, and then oh um, gosh, you drunk you drunk kids apparently apparently we were we were we were doing the drinks. <laughs> oh, and then, and then later I'm playing pool with uh, Jay as well. So. All right. So I'm thinking of just making a small montage of like, just like circle the well out where I am in each scene. It's like here I am, there I am, there I am again. Because <laughs> it'll be a, uh, I, I just want it to be you know, kind of cool. Are you going to the premiere? Oh, of course. I am. Oh, I am so hyped. Got premiere hype. Woo woo premiere hype. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like when we were talking about. Um, De like Destiny stuff and COD, I was like, Cal's being really quiet, and then suddenly I just see like, this link pop up. It's like, I'm at this time, this time, watch me. <laughs> <laughs> I literally searched through three episodes. <laughs> Took me forever. Did, did you actually? Oh. Yeah, because I was in twenty. I was in twenty one, and then I searched from twenty two, twenty three. I had twenty four. <laughs> yeah, you're in um twenty one at like the second half when we're outside because there's a fire. He's the guy who's wearing a green shirt and a grey jacket. Apparently, I'm fat. Apparently. I, I didn't think you were fat. Just Jasmine. She's just mean. She just wants to be mean to you, Cal. She just wants to hurt your feelings. Damn it, Jasmine! Mm. How dare you? What? How dare you? You sickened me. What am I doing? <laughs> I was watching something. Because you called Cal fat. He's not fat. <laughs> yes, he is. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey! Now or just like back then, in the day? Then. Back in the day. Back in the day. I was going to say, if you look in the... Um, if you go and watch uh, all the movie vlogs and uh, like and subscribe to the uh, One of a Kind Film channel, you can see Cal, and he is not chunky in any way. Oh, thank you, Kevin. He's extra it's... chunky. No, I'm kidding. Ah! <laughs> it's true. <laughs> oh, wow. Right, I'm just going to leave. Kidding. Goodbye, guys. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Wow, shots fired. <laughs> wow. Cal, your Skype picture, how it just says Cal on it, it looks like something from another language. Yo, hey! Hey! It's Spana, Cal! Ah, le calmarte! Le calmigate! Can you do a. Um, Migate! <laughs> can you do like a thing like in Smosh where they make. remake all your. like just dub over all your videos but in Spanish? <laughs> I can probably do that. <laughs> oh no! Um, get a thingy to do it. Alish. Alish, yes! <laughs> oh, just, oh. <laughs> remember when, uh, remember because uh, we talk, like, at night time, don't we? And we, like, keep everyone up. <laughs> and one morning, Alish was like, okay, I need my sleep. And the camera was like, oh, yeah, yeah. He's like, no, seriously, if you don't sleep, I kill you. <laughs> I was like, oh, God, he's gonna kill me. <laughs> Oh, wait, we have to. I, I, don't, I remember telling that one on the podcast, but I don't think we've told the, um, the other one. Because, um, basically, basically, because he told us that he was going to kill me, I was like, okay, we've got to take this to the next level. <laughs> and, um, so what I did was, like, I, um, because we all had, like, sleeping bags, because we were sleeping in this big open room, which the floor was so uncomfortable, my back was destroyed. 
But um, basically, Alish was in the corner next to, but like he had there was a table in the corner, and then his sleeping bag. So uh, he went off to like brush his teeth or something. And he came back, and in this time that he'd gone, I put my sleeping bag under the table, and because it was dark, you could not see me. And then he, like, he was getting ready, he was getting into his sleeping bag, and then as soon as he got into his sleeping bag, I said, Hello, Alish! And he was just like, wait, what's this coming from? And I was like, right behind him. <laughs> I was like, this is the moment where I die. <laughs> it was so worth it. <laughs> uh, what did he do? I think he just was like, oh, what? no, no, you'll go back now. <laughs> oh, oh, I know. I remember when, because um, because we, cause like, because whenever you meet someone from a different country, always you always ask them how to say like random phrases, but in their language. <laughs> so we were asking how to say stuff in Spanish, and um, recently I just been watching the um, the Monty Python for the Holy Grail one, and um, there's that insult scene where he goes, "I fought in your general direction." So I said, "Alish, <laughs> how do you say I fought in your general direction in Spanish?" And he goes. Uh, genital direction? And I'm like, no, general direction. <laughs> and that became a thing as well, didn't it? Yeah, like we were in the middle of Domino's, and he's like, genital direction. <laughs> it's like it's so perfect. Oh, oh I, I, I love Alex. He's just so good. <laughs> yeah, I've got La- I've got Lawrence on Skype. I'm not sure if you remember him or not. Oh yeah, I remember Lawrence. Oh, I remember is- Lawrence for one reason and one reason only. But I'm not gonna mention it. Okay. Wait, what was it? I can't remember. <laughs> I'll, I'll mention it afterwards. <laughs> no, no, put it in, like, secret code. Secret code? Secret like, code. Like, can I use Morse code? Like B- No, just, like, words that I will understand, but the viewers will not. I imagine CJ will uh, watch this. I've typed it here in the chat, but I imagine CJ would watch oh, this. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and, yeah, and he would just put comments. He, like, he just put comments on this one. This is what it is. This is what it is. I'm like, no, CJ, my secret. <laughs> like... I, I I think I played it off well enough that I wasn't annoyed, but I was so pissed off by like two days of that. I was just like, I'm gonna kill you all. <laughs> like every time you said it, I was like, oh, is there any knives I can get at BYFA? Because I need to kill someone. <laughs> it's just like, oh no, it's just like, you, 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 I had to play it off cool. I was like, nah, it's fine, haha, you know, I get the joke. Now be quiet. <laughs> mm. That was so funny. It's weird to think, because, like, I was 16 and everyone was, like, 19, so I was thinking that everyone would be really mature and stuff. And then there's me, like, probably one of the most mature people. <laughs> well, I wouldn't take it that far. <laughs> I'm probably, like, the least mature one. How old's Gimli? He's Gimli, like, 20 or something? He's, like, 21, isn't he? Yeah, something like that. He's, he's the most immature. <laughs> I don't know far. And then, um, do you remember when we met Frankie and we, I was like... She has to be 12, and she's like, you know, seven. I thought, I, well, you told me that, I, th- I believed you. <laughs> no, I remember I was talking to CJ, and CJ was like, because um, he was in her script writing thing for the, um, you know, the first day when we got, like, put into yeah. groups, because we really yeah. didn't know what the hell we were doing on the first day, and everyone else did. Um, but yeah, I, I came over to them, and was like, oh, hey, and he goes, oh, this is Frankie, I'm like, are you even old enough to be here? And she's like, I'm 16 or so. I'm like, yeah, nice joke. <laughs> and she's like, no, I actually am. And I was just like, okay. But then I actually found out she was. I was like, wow. Did not see. <laughs> like, she's probably just going to read this and be like, how dare you call me 12? It's like, she looked 12. <laughs> yeah. Um, I see yeah. Mark a lot in um, Liverpool. Really? Yeah. He's he always still a bit of stuff, isn't he? Because, mm. um,. The college I go to, there's two different versions of it, and he does the um, other different version one, so I see him in Liverpool quite a lot. Oh, that's cool. Mm. I saw him you in say the... hi. Yeah, I kind of say hi to him, and he just kind of looks at me and goes, no, I remember you. <laughs> oh, Mark, we are, oh, God. <laughs> he was a mentor, but he had no power. <laughs> 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 oh. That was funny. Mark just got, like... Mark just got annoyed too easily at things. Yeah. But like, it was really, it's really nice, though. He is. He tries to be nice, and then I'm just there like, hello. I'm going to yeah. ruin your life. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Again. Because every week he's hoping that we don't come back. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I'm going to be here for the last three weeks. It's like, God damn it. <laughs> no. <laughs> but yeah, um, I thought like it was really amazing that... Um, the entire film was filmed in like filmed in five weeks but yeah it's pretty impressive 
I found out that Twelve Years of Slave was actually filmed in like a really short time. Really? Yeah. Apparently that was filmed in like. But um, just apparently, <laughs> apparently, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> I've lost all the concentration because of Jasmine. <laughs> what happens is um, yeah, they filmed it in like a really short amount of time, but. Uh, it wouldn't be out like five weeks. It'd be a bit longer because obviously there's like a lot of different locations and stuff, and obviously they'd have like a lot of presetting because, you know, there's, it's like a really big, expensive budget film and stuff. But um, yeah, uh, Jasmine just posted like a, uh, the screenshot if you look in the chat of um, I think I liked on Facebook. Right, that is hilarious because this morning I was in college with my friend, went on Facebook and the top article. He liked, it said, so-and-so liked this article. I opened it up and we all read through it and it was quite funny, <laughs> so I liked it. So I liked it as well. I was like, eh, same thing, but I have to be. But yeah, it's funny, so. It looks a bit... Rude. Anyway, okay. uh... It's very rude, so let's move on to the topic, because uh, we haven't got long left. Uh, Walking the Dead. Hobbit, the Hobbit, the Hobbit, the Hobbit, the Hobbit. Walking Dead, because Hobbit is oh. too. Oh. We'll do Hobbit next week when we've seen it, okay? Fine, okay. When okay, so... I'm not going to be here because I don't like the Hobbit. Yes. We're also going to talk about Mockingjay then as well. Ooh. No. So but anyway, all right, quickly, Walking Dead spoilers. Uh, tune out now. Just Beth put... died! There you go. <laughs> if, you didn't, if you didn't click off the video by then, Beth died. Oh. And it was just, oh, it just happened. It was just, boom, dead. Everybody, I, I was watching it, and when she got shot, I went, oh, I literally did that. I'm not kidding. I, sh I gasped. She I is not that. kidding. <laughs> I, I put I my guess. hands over my mouth. I was like, no, yes, I like covered my like, mouth with my left hand. I was like, oh no. I was Although, annoyed her because she, but... she stabbed her. She had a stab proof vest on. It's like, what? Also, can I just say, I actually knew Beth was going to die, but I was still shocked when it happened. Yeah. Because do you know what happened? Scroll down on the video. I accidentally saw the first comment of the video. Comment reads, I'm glad Beth died. I didn't like her character. It was completely pointless having her in the show. I'm like, fuck you! Don't comment the spoiler right below the video. I, was like, oh. I might do that. I'd do like a fake spoiler. I'm like, oh my god, I'm so glad Daryl died. <laughs> like next episode, just for, like next, as soon as the episode, watch it first. Just like, oh my god, I can't believe Daryl died in Walking Dead. The fan base is going to be mad. Just everyone was like, what? <laughs> Oh, I just hate people that spoil stuff for me. It just oh, pees me off. Oh. It's just like... I'm sure like a lot of people have conspiracies about her dying. Apparently, because apparently like, the bullet was like slightly up a little bit. Like people, the gun, so it went straight past her. People are, are, like said, can you... Petition, you, you they have to petition? write her back in the show. But, yeah, there's a petition, but, isn't there? But the thing is, you can't write her back into the show, because she's dead. Well, technically we didn't see her die. You saw her head get blown off and the blood go into the uh, camera lens. People have been shot in the head before and not died. Name one person. There was that there was that girl there was a girl who had been shot she was like uh Muslim and she'd been shot in the head by a bullet and she survived. What are you on? That was on the that was on the news agency. It was on the news about, about Oh I thought you meant in the walking dead. No. <laughs> 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 Oh my god! <laughs> but I'm I'm waiting for it to uh, yeah. Daryl is probably the only Daryl, Rick, and Carl like the three people who have like job security in that show, and that's about it. Yeah. yeah. Michonne. Uh, oh yeah, Michonne is great. I feel yeah. like she's starting to get she's she's starting to get it now because I didn't like her at the beginning, but now she's a I actually like a character. So I liked her from the beginning. Her, her and Carl like, are best mates. I know. They shared a chocolate bar. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's when you know things are getting serious. I want to know what, so happens. I... I know what happens to the priest. Cause... Yeah, I was about oh, to yeah. say that. It's just, when she, when Michonne had the baby behind her on her back, there was nothing in there. It was tissue. Because a baby doesn't wiggle around that much. And it doesn't just flap around. I know, it was a bit... Well, too fair, they can't use a baby all the time because it's kind of like, you know, it's not the best place to have it just on your back, if you get what I mean. So. But, um... I think we're coming up to the end of the podcast. So uh, mm. goodbye from me. Goodbye from me.